Now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Dollar. Now, Carson, that blue in that picture kind of looked like what our um, Storm Tracker has looked like this morning. Yeah. A lot of blue, green, orange, yellow, red. Yeah. A lot of rain. A, it's been a messy morning on 31 Triple Doppler, and we still got some heavy rain moving into Sam Mountain. It's this narrow little band of heavy rain that has developed really in the last hour or so. Here in the metro in particular, we're starting to dry things out, and by dry things out, I mean it's just some more light rain as opposed to the heavier rain that we've dealt with so far this morning. One thing I'm going to be watching for the next hour or so is how long this heavy rain lingers in Jackson County. That may lead to some flash flooding concerns later this morning. Let's give you a track of when that heavy rain arrives in northeast Alabama. Scottsboro, it's knocking on your door. You're going to be seeing some heavier rain in the next three to five minutes. Gunnersville, you'll see some heavier rain in 10 minutes, closer to 654. Albertville by 705. Powell by 716. Rainsville by 724. Fort Payne, you could see that heavier rain closer to 730 or 740 here in about an hour or so. Sky Cam's obviously showing a damp picture on this Tuesday. Temperatures are on the mild side in the low 60s, but that cloud cover is not going anywhere today, which means those temperatures aren't going to fluctuate a whole lot. Many of us will top out in the mid 60s this afternoon. All in all, that's pretty typical for this time of year, but the wind will switch directions. It'll be coming out of the northwest today, and it'll still be breezy. Maybe not blustery, but still breezy with those gusts around 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. And since that wind will be out of the northwest, it'll feel a little cooler than the mid 60s today. Here's future radar 8 a.m. You notice the heaviest rain still moving into northeast Alabama, but I'm optimistic by noon today the rain will move out, but it stays cloudy. It stays breezy, and like we talked about, that means it's going to feel a little bit cool later on this afternoon and tonight. That cooler air really settles in by tomorrow. For tomorrow morning in particular, there's a tiny chance for a couple of sprinkles. Not a whole lot. Nearly all of you will stay dry, but those clouds will hold tough at least for tomorrow. The sunshine will return for Thanksgiving on Thursday. Great holiday, but as we get towards Friday, we'll be tracking another quick moving system that won't give us the soaking rain we've dealt with the last couple of days or last day or so, but we could have a few showers early on Friday morning. And we also talked about that colder air. We're talking highs in the 50s and tomorrow night and early next week, We've got a few opportunities for some frost here in North Alabama. You can see that on the 10 day forecast. Thanksgiving morning, we're waking up those temperatures in the mid 30s. We'll keep those temperatures in the 30s to low 40s all the way through next week with highs in the 50s to near 60.